Hello, welcome to another movie review of mine. Afterwards, please take the chance to visit my website, www.thesameviewer.com, where I have thousands of movie reviews, 60 plus lists of best films per genre, yearly rank lists, with top five per category going back to 1914 and dozens of miscellaneous lists, including TV shows, actor profiles, and top 10 films per actor. The link can be found below. Today we are reviewing Bullets or Ballots 1936. Gave this movie a rating of 6, was viewed in 2006 and 2024. Bullets or Ballots is the Goodfellas of the 30s. It's one of the leanest, meanest pictures I've seen. Plenty of tough guys come and go. The pace is fast and furious with a lot of twists and turns. It's about the double crossing, honor among thieves, and the succession of top dogs. The cast gives across the board outstanding performances. Edward G. Robinson has never looked better. Humphrey Bogart shines. Great writing is done by Seton Miller with the help of Martin Mooney. It's a taut story that's filled with sharp dialogue. However, Bullets or Ballots is one of those few films that I wish I had a happy ending. All in all, Bullets or Ballots is probably the most underrated gangster picture to come out of the 30s. I wonder why I rated Ballots or Bullets so highly, and afterwards I can see why. It's the complicated tale of how Johnny Blake took down the city crime syndicate by pretending to be out on the out. Then, idiot dumb Bob Moss Bob decided to set him in and show him how everything works. Of course, Nick Finner was having none of it. Then again, he started the whole mess by gunning down Ward Bryant, which proves to be the biggest mistake of his life. The true reason why the Mafia's power went unchecked throughout the 20th century is that J. Edgar Hoover did nothing about it, preferring to focus on the communists while enriching himself. Hence, the Mafia made so much money through bootlegging, prostitution, gambling, loan sharking, racketeering, drugs, among others. The film's plot was so simple that anyone could have done it back then, but nobody in the government did. In their first of the five films together, Edward G. Robinson and Humphrey Bogart are fine, but they're nothing special. The actions of the former's characters are illegal. But it's what they used to do back in the day. It can be confusing to tell if Edward G. Robinson was for real because he used to be Little Caesar. On the other hand, Joan Blondo is okay. By the way, Bullets or Ballads is a stupid title because it doesn't have anything to do with elections. The numbers bracket is mostly true as portrayed, which did big business in Harlem. All in all, Bullets or Ballads makes for a fair viewing when it comes to the 30s gangster pictures. Thank you so much for coming in to see my movie review. Don't forget to visit my website, www.seenviewer.com.